Grain suffered some losses to start the week, while the cattle market saw some big gains. Michelle Murphy is back with more in Markets Now. Grains all ending lower on Monday. Randy Mertens and Mertens and Ag is joining us. And Randy, you know, we had a nice pop on Friday. Looked like some short covering activity in the grains, but did we just see profit taking or was this weather? I think it's, it could be both. I mean, you know, we are seeing an improvement as far as the weather is concerned. The one to five day forecast is calling for some decent rains for the Northern Plains, for the Western Corn Belt. Uh, you know, that's some of the areas that really need it, especially the, the, the Western Corn Belt. So I think weather is part in a, playing a little bit of a part in it. You look at your six to 10, we're looking at a little bit drier conditions with, uh, you know, the possibility of seeing some, you know, cooler temperatures, but probably be able to get some planting going again. But I think that's a lot of it. But I think we're also seeing a little profit taking here today, or at least some fun seller, farmer selling, which is helping to put some pressure on the market. Yeah, we saw that at the end of February where we had to price or roll all these basis fixed contracts. Are we going to see the same scenario or at least to that degree here at the end of this month? I think we will. I mean, there's still a lot of corn sitting out in the uh, farmer's hands. And I know there was quite a few producers that, you know, were you know, stringing out their delivery points, you know, whether it be March, whether it be May and locking in the basis, waiting for futures to move a little bit. That hasn't really happened a lot. I mean, we've got a little bit of appreciation, but not a lot. And I think producers are now looking at they need the cash, they need to move the product. And one, you know, the other part is that they're going to start getting busy in the field. So they need to get the grain moved and out of their, uh, you know, get one task taken care of. We did look like we were putting some more premium into the grain market on Friday. And so maybe taking that out on Monday. I think that was part of it. You know, we did see the old markets perform fairly well. And again, I don't know if it seems like at the end of every week, we want to try to leave the, with very small changes from the previous week. But I do think that the good bump on Friday had something to do with the idea that there was going to be an attack imminent uh, coming from Iran to Israel. The fact that it really didn't amount to much, I think, and the fact that a lot of countries now are telling Israel, back away, let's not see this escalate anymore. I think that's kind of taking some of the wind out of the grain markets and taking some of that war premium out. Thanks so much, Randy Mertensen with Mertensen Ag. We'll have more Ag Day coming up. Watch Markets Now with Michelle Rook on the Farm Journal YouTube channel, keeping you updated throughout the day on the markets at the open midday and close. Find out what moved the markets today and what to expect the market to do next.